heart, the involuntary pump. The human heart is a muscular organ which pumps blood. It is of the size of a human fist and weighs about 360 grams. The heart is covered by the pericardial membrane. Internally, heart has four chambers, the upper two atriums and lower two ventricles. The left and the right part of heart is separated by vertical septum to prevent oxygen-rich blood from mixing with the blood containing carbon dioxide. At the same time, the valves between atrium and ventricles ensure that the blood does not flow backwards. The left half carries oxygenated blood, while right half carries deoxygenated blood. This is very essential in animals that have high energy needs such as birds and mammals which constantly use energy to maintain their body temperature. Circulation of blood within the heart. Students note that the atriums are thin-walled whereas ventricles are thick-walled as they need to pump the blood upwards. Now let's move on to actual circulation of blood through heart. The muscles of the atria are relaxed and the right atrium receives deoxygenated blood collected from different organs of the body via large veins called vena cava. The right atrium contract and pour the deoxygenated blood into right ventricle guarded by tricuspid valves. Thus, the ventricle expands to receive the blood. Now the deoxygenated blood from right ventricle is pumped up which enter the pulmonary artery and reaches lungs for oxygenation. This oxygenated blood from the lungs now enters left atrium through the four pulmonary veins. This blood is then poured in left ventricle guarded by bicuspid valves. Further, the left ventricle contract resulting in pumping out the oxygenated blood to all the parts of the body through the aorta, the largest artery. Thus, the deoxygenated blood enters the right part of the heart and again of oxygenation, it enters the left part of the heart. So the blood goes through the heart twice during each cycle. This is known as double circulation.